to go through what an authority website is all about, why it's designed like it's designed and what the outcomes are going to be from a well-designed authority website. So let's look at the key areas of an authority website. There are five. Number one is to build the personality or a brand. But I'm always going to recommend going for a personality first, especially if the authority website is overlaid with video marketing, because you get to build trust and credibility with someone over video in a lot more power uh, and a lot more um, speed, in, a, in essence, via video than you would just through words of written words or even audio. The video allows you to connect eye to eye for them to see you, to see if they like you. So building a personality would always be my recommendation. Second is to grow momentum for inbound marketing. We'll talk about inbound marketing in a little bit. The easily self-changeable, talk about that as well. Trackable and measurable, very important to know what is and what isn't working. And designed to convert as many visitors as possible into leads. All of these are important. I'd probably say the first and the last are the most important, but all five together all give a single result of an authority website. So let's look into this each one. I got carried away a little bit at the start about building a personality. You've got two choices. It's either a personal brand or a company brand. A lot of businesses focus on company brand but then the question is, how can you get someone to resonate with bricks and mortar? People resonate with people, people buy from people, people trust and respect and look up to people. And we can build positioning, we can build credibility, we can build leadership with a person versus a company. A good example recently was someone was saying they wanted to build a brand I used Richard Branson as an example. Richard Branson put himself everywhere at the start to build the brand Virgin until Virgin was big enough to take over from Richard himself. But there was a whole lot of effort to build Richard as Richard at the start with Virgin in tow until Virgin took over that mantle. So to get started, you always want to focus on a personality at the start. So that's building personality, step one. Step two, inbound marketing. What do we mean by inbound marketing? Well, there's two real main types of marketing. There's inbound marketing and outbound marketing. Outbound marketing is where you create sales letters and you post them to people and out they go. Um, or you're walking the streets, knocking the doors and pretty much trying to do the face-to-face -face sales or the telephone to them. You're, you're doing things outward to try and attract people. Inbound marketing is when you put out value and people go looking for what you have to offer, they find you, and then they like what they see, and then they start a conversation with you. This is the preferred approach by me when I teach people marketing, because it allows you to control your own personality, your brand, your messaging. It allows you to stay true to who you are. If you're not one of those salespeople who enjoy walking the streets and knocking the doors, and it also helps you attract the right types of people for you because those people who resonate with your language, your smile, your message and everything you have to offer, you'll get much better results with those types of people versus if you go out looking for people and then someone says, yes, I need this right now because I'm desperate, then you have a whole lot of different problems to deal with. Been there, done that, don't like it. And most of the time I help people, it's because they're dealing with people they don't want to work with. So life becomes a lot harder, less enjoyable. And uh, yeah, just life becomes hard in general. So inbound marketing, creating value to the people that you're looking to help, putting it out there and letting them find you and then coming into your marketing process. That's inbound marketing. Number three, when you're looking at an authority website, you're going to be changing quite rapidly. You're going to be redesigning parts of your business. You're going to be very agile in terms of what marketing works and what doesn't. You're going to want to keep testing things in your marketplace. You need something as a website that can change with you and allows you to be who you are versus a website that will very quickly be left to rot and be like 90 plus percent of the websites on the web today. You don't want that, you want an asset for your business. So you want something that will change quite easily and can be changed as well 
at very low or no cost if you were doing it yourself. So very easy to change as well. Number four, trackable and measurable. You want to make sure you know what, what does and doesn't work in terms of marketing. So you need to make sure that from a website perspective, you can know that your website works. And if it doesn't work, how you can change it. There are tools out there today. And one of the tools is a tool called Crazy Egg. And Crazy Egg is a tool that when someone is looking at your website, they almost like reading a book, they'll move the finger across the page of the book. And when people read websites, they actually move the mouse like the finger. And Crazy Egg tracks where the mouse goes. What does that do? It tracks where the eye movement goes on your website. What does that allow us to do as marketers? It allows us to understand what really converts. Okay, it helps us understand what language works to attract people, what the right type of layout is for your pages, all with the single aim of conversion. And what do I mean by conversion? It's taking someone who visits your site through to sign up, through to becoming a lead in your database. And so you can start a conversation with them with your email marketing, and then they reach out to you and say, yes, I would like to talk more about your product or service. Leading to step five, the conversion machine. So the best practice designed to convert visitors is what you're after, and that's what the authority website is all structured around. The website, the authority website has come about from one of the top internet marketers in Australasia, if not the world, a guy by the name of James Shramko, who's one of my mentors. And he has spent literally hundreds of thousands of dollars and a team of website experts reviewing his websites to get the best model that converts. And yes, over time, things do change. But as of time of recording, this is the best design for an authority website to get the most amount of visitors that visit your site to convert into your database, which will allow you to do email marketing. Another important part of your website is that you have a small number of options for people to do something. So when they come to your website, you want them to read your blog post or your value that you've given out and then offer them something that they're interested in so that the next step is for them to either leave your site or to sign up to something. Most people today fall into the trap of having lots and lots of pages to allow people to wander around the website, get distracted and leave. So an authority website is all designed around getting action quickly from a visitor to get them into your database. That's what I mean by focus paths and removing a whole lot of clutter of pages gets rid of distractions to get more people into conversion. So let's look at the ideal design of an authority website. When it's been, studies have shown that when people look at a web page, they look at it in the shape of a capital F. Okay, so on the screen now you can see the capital F and people's eyes will do this. They will go along the top first, they'll come back, they'll go down to the middle of the F, go across and then come back down. That's how people read a website today. So what you want to do is have placeholders on your page at those certain points of your eyes. So you'd have a couple of instances of um, whether sign up here or some type of offers in the highest point of eye traffic. And you'd also have something across the path as well that's of interest. That's how you should design a really high converting website. And let's overlay an example now of an authority website design right now, which is designed for a personal brand. So here is negotiation in business. And if we overlay, this is the design from the design team. And if we overlay the capital F onto this site, you can see that the F, and then when we put the I, the eye trace across it, you can see that the capital F goes across these main parts of the site. It takes people to the sign up for the tips and it takes people as well to one of the first banners, which is the wanting to sell your business. Also, if they get to the wanting to sell your business, then their eyes will see the looking to buy another business and they, will, they were the two main key offers of this site. Or it will attract them to more of the content in the actual blog underneath it. So that is the design for the capital F. As you can see, this is where the eye movements are from the, the placeholders. And so I talked about before, I talked about a personal and here I've got Michael in front and center on the page because the aim of negotiation in business is to build Michael Craddock's presence as one of the top 
if not the top negotiator in Australasia. So it's building his presence and his name for negotiation in business. If you wanted to change that and wanted to change it more subtly and take Michael off, you could go to the second design, which is this. Okay, so still you can see the, the F, okay, on this. Um, but we take away Michael, we make it a bit shorter up the top, but still the capital F shape is there and it's taking people to the key parts of the page. So that is what you need to know from a perspective of conversion and why the site design is like it is. And if you have any questions, just feel free to let me know. All right, bye for now.